It smells like blood. No. Blood? Hmm. Akana's nose twitched like a beast's. She suddenly pointed. <coughs> Coming from over there. Oh my god, is there a body on the... Oh no. Commentary. I am Ari, and we are playing a class strip gone horribly wrong, which means Danganronpa 2. Goodbye despair, but we're going through a lot of despair, I can promise you. Please read my warning uh, right after this intro, and we're gonna continue the game where we last left off. Yakuya is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Yep. We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Yakuya, who promised he could lead us in a situation like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? Th that's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um. Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch black darkness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I look in the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, got it. For now. I guess I'm gonna look in the office. Then I should look around the hallway. <laughs> yeah, okay, just eat. Bathroom. Jeez! <laughs> If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did the Yakuya go? Um, I believe I have to check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Shiaki was there. I don't wanna, I feel uneasy. I think I'm gonna find his dead body. What are you doing? Weren't you gonna use the bathroom? Damn it. Yes, but it appears someone else is using it. Had the doors been shut before the party even started? <laughs> Maybe... Wait, someone's been using the bathroom since before the party even started? Is the Yakuza in there? <laughs> That's what it looks like. No matter how many times I check, it never seems to be open. <laughs> this is bad. Oh shit, I'm going to shit. I mean, it could also be... I mean, it could be the Yakuza in it. Or... I mean, our gamer girl just suddenly left. She could also not have left at all, but actually went to the bathroom or something. I don't know. Could be many things. We are fine about it. But this is a mystery, and I think I'm pretty sure that this will also become a crime scene. <clears throat> Maybe there's a dead body in it now. The more I try to hold it in, the more it wants to come out. Okay, whatever. Um, Who's in there, in the bathroom? If they've been in there since before the party started, it can't be Miyakuya. What a knock. Not opening. Seems to be someone is inside. I'm scared. Oh, I can't go into the office. Scared, scared, scared. Okay, nothing's in here. Wait, where's... Where's the case? And our favorite swordsman. Uh, swordsman. Uh, Just what it looks like. Yakuya is not here. In fact, nobody's here. Doesn't that seem odd? Now that you mention it, wasn't Paco supposed to be in this room? Hmm. I know, right? Isn't it weird? Why is she missing too? Oh shit! So if something happened, maybe she got a whiff of it, and then she decided to pursue the person, right? Because she. Sad that she will cut down anyone that tries something funny. I'm so scared. Um, I've searched the hallway, but there's no sign of Yakuya. Where did he go? Is he outside? I haven't looked yet. I'll go check. 
I'm gonna find the body. I'm gonna find the body. Uh, I don't wanna. There's gonna be a cutscene of the body, isn't it? Uh -oh. Why are you here? Shiaki and Monomi are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hajime, what about the party? <coughs> what? It's not done yet, right? They haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Nope. Byakuya? No, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? Oh, no. Oh, no. That means everybody's still in the building. But where... Where's our swordsman? Where's Bia? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope. Nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Oh, shit. Maybe Monomi can lie, and <laughs> she's just keeping quiet about what happened outside. <clears throat> hey, Hajime, how did it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said, uh, she said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Mm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Mm. No one was in the office. It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office? That's weird. What about Paco? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Paco was there. Huh? Huh? Paco's gone too? Maybe those two took advantage of the uh, blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Truly, truly outrageous. Um. Did something happen, Akane? Well, do any of you smell something? Well, partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine. Oh my god. Okay, she's just giving us a medical explanation yes. of farting. It's not like that. Wait. <gasps> it smells like blood. No. Blood. Hmm. Akana's nose twitched like a beast. She suddenly pointed. <laughs> Coming from over there. Oh my god, is there a body on the... Oh no. Oh no. The table at the very back of the dining hall. Oh no, I don't wanna look at it. Somebody else do it. I don't wanna... You go do it. You go do it. That's... The smell of blood coming from the table? Hey. It's best if you check it out, Hajime. Y yeah. I'd... But not me, don't make me do it! Hey! How can anyone ever do that? Smelling blood. It's just their imagination, right? That's obviously, obviously what it is. There's a dead body under there. That's impossible! Better hurry and check it out so we know for sure. No, 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 I don't wanna. Hang on, shit, okay, okay. Should be used to smelling it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. On three. One. Two. Three. Oh god, the smell of blood. What in the world is at the table? It's under there. Under the table? No, I dashed towards the table at the back, reaching out towards the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is it nervousness? Fear? Why? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. There's a dead person, isn't there?
For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw was the ultimate affluent progeny, Byaku Yatogami, already dead and beyond recognition. Chapter 1 Deadly Life. Byaku? I just stood there, horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me, as I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. I'm gonna play it, let it play out, and then I'm gonna get, tell you my thoughts. Hey, 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 hey! Are you kidding me? <laughs> this can't be real, that day. It's gonna be something like jam or sauce. Because if not, this. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I guess this is a good, as good a time as ever. There was a screw I'm missing, right? But what he has there is a knife. And we put all knives away, and we accounted for them all. So I can only suspect that he had a knife on him, and he had the night vision goggles. And he tried to maybe defend? Either he tried to defend himself or others, or the Yakuya's master plan was actually to kill somebody, um, while also making it look that nobody could have been be the killer. Um, I'm not so sure if he actually tried to kill somebody. Like, but he... Hmm. I don't know, it's kind of weird, because, like, who would have killed him? Maybe the person in the bathroom? I don't know. It's, it's just so weird. It, this is a really hard case. I'm actually, I actually have no suspects right now, I guess. But I was right that he's the first one to go, actually. I'm glad that I spoke to him before. Anyway, let's uh, continue. Good gracious. Things quickly took a turn for the worse. My, my, now this is interesting. Thrills, chills, kills! On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. M murder? Could it be? Hold on, then does this mean... <laughs> of course. That's right! The Aquia was hit by one of you guys. Of course! If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. But he didn't, he didn't even scream, so that actually makes me think, think that the Aquia might have done something himself, you know what I mean? Because, like, if you get just hit, you would scream, but there was no one talking. He was in the same room, didn't he? Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face. Don't you think? Wait, maybe it was... Like, who left the room or who moved around? It was the mechanic, right? <sighs> face filled with regret that his life was ended by force. All thanks to someone else's selfish designs. To have a dying face such like this. If it is murder, then what the heck could it be? Also, like, not many people were, would be able to carry him, wouldn't they be? You know? Like, he's pretty heavy by his size. So I guess all of the small girls are ruled out. Anyway. <clears throat> the Yakuya was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered? The moment I screamed that word, the thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within, swelled within my body. Which means that I've accepted the fact that Biafia was murdered. What is this? Could it be? Where were you? And the, the chest is here? Is that... Really, Biakia? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why Biakia? 
I see, I see. It appears Fukuhiko is the only one who is here. Who are you going to do? So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? That's the body found Our announcement. Body has been discovered. Yeah. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Class trial. Hey, um. I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think the blackened is. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible! It can't be. Someone actually killed? There's no way. <laughs> If you made out uh, an outburst like that, you'll end up being suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us could be happier. There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no! If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being con uh, conned by the killer. <laughs> Let's hurry up and begin. An impassionate, uh, impassionate uh, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackhand. And it's already started. It started the moment you, uh, one of you, plotted to kill someone. Hey! What are you saying? You can't! Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe that Monokuma says. <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there's only, there's only ever one truth. On my grandfather's. You have a grandpa. On my grandfather's. Grave? Your grandfather is dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's emergency! What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? This is kind of depressing. I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Ah, it hurts so much when you hit me with a charging perks for attack. I don't like this duo. Did you see that? The stunning display of power. The fire break brother and I show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. Oh my god, she's bleeding. If only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with your investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovely doubt and doubly deception, Put your heart and soul into this investigation. Wish you the best of luck. My ass. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief stricken alone without despair. What is this? What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. Oh. I search for Biakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, you can't doubt each other, cause you're friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhand really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna be killed, right? Please wait. That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. No. Seriously. Did he even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if we can abide by this or not. We're gonna do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you! No! Friends stopping friends is a major no-no. Shut up! Shut up! Ooh. Do we really have to do it? But... No, I don't want to do something like that. No! I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However... It's just as Hiyako said. If we're going to get killed for doing or not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Bia. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. You're gonna believe it when the confession drops? So for that reason... Yep. I'll do it. 
I investigate via Kuya's death. I will do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There is no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, before you start, can I say something? You're weirdly unaffected. Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's, uh, on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed evidence and got away with it. Destroyed the evidence? Pointing! Look over there! That big, bulky, brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. Okay. Man. Yeah, he has a sensitive heart. Hey! I can't be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body. And it's not like I have the brains either. I just stay by Biakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, Mahiro. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll do my best. I do my best not to get in your way. Yes. I have medical training, so if, if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy, please. Um. So you're going to stay as well, is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's probably pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each uh, each grain of sand on a beach is just to find uh, a way, just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hey. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Biakia. But, to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. <laughs> but I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe, I won't believe. Tell it uh, to you. Uh, Fine, I'm in. You are right. If we're able to survive, this is the only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing that we can do in order to save life. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope. Even so, I still gotta do it. <sighs> you thought it was time for the investigation, but... Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma fire? I don't like this. Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Why well, you? it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain. Let's see. Monokuma fire contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I've brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. Nice, you say? You're such a selfish meanie. What's this? My, 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 Monomi. The meaningless mascot. You still here? You stupid brother! Don't put me in a meaningless mascot, John! Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Okay. The Monokuma file, huh? So no autopsy required. Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. Miyakuya Togami, dead. Oh, there's all the pictures already. 